cryptocurrency and blockchain can be very confusing and mysterious to people. Uh, and it is complicated in some ways, but in other ways, not so much. But Jen Grayson, a uh, one person trying to explain and navigate, especially women in this industry, and to try to encourage more women to join. So Jen, welcome. I'm looking forward to talking to you about all of this. And you have a, a podcast, a speaker, you're named one of the top 10 women in blockchain. So um, let's just start with like, what's the, well, what's your take? What's a takeaway or the headline on where women are in the blockchain industry right now? Um, surging forward, I think is probably the best place. I feel like the, the invitation has finally been sent and women are, I think, flooding in. They're realizing that there's space here for them, that there's a lot of opportunity. And so every time I go to a meeting or a meetup or see things happening on crypto Twitter, it just feels like there are so many more women on there, um, especially since I've been around um, since 2017. And so definitely looking forward to more coming in, but I do like that we seem to be seeing more flooding in. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I still think it is largely men. I was at NFT.myc last week and mostly men. Yes. But, but there are some women and, and, it's, and it's enough that you're not like, well, there's a woman. Like it just kind of, you know, it's no big deal. So um, it's definitely encouraging. And, and I, you know, there are a lot of different jobs. It's not just programmers, but there are a ton of different jobs and in industries that are in blockchain. So absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what are some of them that you see? Like there's a variety of, of different careers to pursue in this industry. Honestly, it's every career. And I think this is a big misnomer that people don't realize. And one of the biggest questions I get to from women that want to come into the space is they say that they're like, I'm not a coder. What can I do? And truly there are everything from accountants to marketing people to attorneys. It's simply a different form of technology. And so when we think about tech companies, I mean, Amazon has every possible job available from human resources to accounting to um, marketing, there's everything. And so when we look at the, the projects that are happening in blockchain, all of these little blockchain, all of these little projects are just tech startups. And so they're utilizing a new technology, but there really is something for everyone. And it doesn't matter where your skill set is. There's a project inside the world of blockchain and crypto that needs you. Yeah. Well, and I've honestly felt welcomed in the industry as well. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's open. It's like it, it's like early Silicon Valley when everybody's like exchanging ideas and it's very open source. And um, I, I feel like it's, it's a welcoming industry. Have you found that as well? Absolutely. It's been so collaborative. And I learned it on the global stage, which I'm really grateful for. And so back in 2017 and 2018, I was learning it in Barcelona, kind of at the feet of the, the masters, if you will. And it was so collaborative. I really felt like my gender wasn't even a factor and I was there to provide value regardless of whether I was a woman or not. And it's continued that way. I mean, I think I definitely believe women who say that they've had a different experience than I have, but for me, it really has been very welcoming um, there are toxic people in any environment, men, women alike, whether you're, you know, working at a grocery store or working in technology. And I think it really is just a matter of finding those kind, welcoming, collaborative people. I think, like you said, the spirit of open source just lends itself to, I have an idea and you have an idea and let's exchange ideas and we need more bodies. And so to get this thing off the ground, it is, okay, if you're excited about this and you want to learn and you want to do this, then come along with us and let's build this thing. And I think that's the biggest piece of advice that I continue to give women is just dive in, jump in and, and whatever you're enthusiastic about or passionate about, we need it. We need it in the space because we're all working 
toward an eventual goal and the more bodies we have the better yeah well and um in new york at least and i'm sure it's the same in you know salt lake city there's something every night there's a crypto event or a blockchain event or a web3 event i mean there's something you can go to every night where you can meet people and collaborate it's just a very social um industry right now which just makes it really exciting Absolutely. And one of the neat things about blockchain and crypto is it's global. And so it doesn't even matter if you're a night owl or an early bird, there's something happening somewhere around the globe. And the pandemic really gave us the ability to do more things remote and online. And so even beyond, if you want to go outside and find things, maybe women are in a more rural area or there aren't, you know, they're one of the first women that are getting involved in crypto. They can go online to learn and find, and there's meetups happening all over everywhere that you can connect with. And most of my um, group on blockchain and crypto are for people from around the world. And I think that's been a fantastic part of it. You know, that's a really interesting point because I feel like this industry has taken me to places I would have never gone, like Malta and yes. Vietnam and, and like some of these places that are experimenting with blockchain. So if you're somebody who loves to travel, this is also a great industry. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That was definitely one of my favorite parts. I was always so excited about where I was going to get to go speak next and getting to experience these amazing places. And, and like you said, going to places that probably weren't on my bucket list, but have become some of my favorite. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, by the way, I wrote down some um, stats here. So the crypto sector, this is the job market. Um, this is over the past year. So this is 2020 to 2021 uh, job postings in the industry up 395%. And venture capital firms poured $30 billion into innovative blockchain startups. So there's growth there, there's money there. Um, you know, it's a it's a growing industry for forever. Massive growth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so tell me about why do you think women's voices are important for the blockchain industry? I think because it is when we're building out a community, I think women have such a amazing perspective when it comes to community um just the feminine in general right i mean we can kind of say that for both genders when you look at the masculine versus the feminine but if we're shaping an entire community and we only have one sector of voices shaping that we end up one with really confusing language which is what we've seen in crypto, the, the lexicon is really challenging and it's not speaking to what women are used to and the words that women are used to using. And so if we include women as part of this conversation, they're going to start using words that we use. Um, and so the more we can include women in this conversation, they think of things that men just don't it doesn't occur to men. And so when we start looking at how are we marketing to different audiences? How are we inviting women to events? How are we creating these technology platforms? If women are involved, they're going to add this breadth of experience and perspective that may not have been there prior. And so I think that's why it's so vital to have their voices as part of the conversation. And you're also on the board, right? At the Kerala Blockchain Academy. So yes. tell me briefly about what that is. So the Kerala Blockchain Academy is in Kerala, India, and it is a STEM institution that's turning out um, I think their last set, I can't remember, I think they had 6,000 students go through their last blockchain bootcamp. And they are absolutely committed to becoming a force in the blockchain development community. And they have special women's initiatives that they are working on to ensure that they really are adding that feminine voice to the developers that are coming out now. Mm -hmm. And then um, just talk about what still needs to be done um, in, in terms of attracting more women to the industry. Um, I think the industry is doing a pretty good job, but maybe, you know, we could be doing a little more. What would you like to see happen? 
I think it's twofold. I think one thing that men are really good at is just showing up. If there's an event, they just say, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I'm going to go. And women are more likely to think they need an invitation and it doesn't occur to men to invite. And so this is like, I think the, the invitation every woman needs of just show up. There is no like boys club there's no anybody who's keeping you out like go get curious and I think if we think about the way that women traditionally do things it's collectively as a group we go out for dinner together we go to concerts together we do wine and painting classes together and so I think it is start enrolling your friends Um, have a wine and crypto night and start a women's investment club, start looking at projects that you really like and what they're doing. Look at some of the NFT projects out there that are supporting women's initiatives around the globe and find the ones that you like and get your friends involved. And so I think it is really just inviting one another and learning together and being who we are normally as women and just creating community around this and diving in. Yeah, no, I think that's a great idea. I mean, grab a couple of friends and go, these events are actually kind of fun. And yes, they, they are. They have good speakers and there's usually some drinks and, you know, you can have a little fun night out. So great idea. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Best of luck. Hopefully we can meet in person someday. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.